After posting a few videos to this channel, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about my cinematic journey, which isn't really a journey, it's just how I got into watching films. Like most children, I enjoyed watching movies, mostly animated stuff, so some of my favourites were Cars, Barnyard, The Simpsons movie. I also enjoyed watching TV as a child, as every child does. Thomas the Tank Engine was my favourite show, and to this day, I reckon I could still name most of the engines that were on the series. Then it progressed to things like The Simpsons, South Park, Family Guy. And funnily enough, one year we got a Family Guy DVD for Christmas and my aunt confiscated it because she thought we were too young for it. Season 5, that's it there. Then as a teenager I progressed into what every teenager I think does, is binge watch Friends religiously. My cousins who I affectionately refer to as the lads, they were a few years older than me and my brother. But they were much more into movies than me and my brother were at all. And it's kind of down to them really that I started watching movies. One of the lads was the same age as me. We played sport together. We watched wrestling together. And it was he who introduced me to probably my first film love, which was Harry Potter. I became obsessed with the franchise. I wanted to know every single detail about the movie all the characters' names, all the locations, all the spells. So if Harry Potter was what got me into cinema, it was the Lord of the Rings that got me to love cinema. I think my earliest memory of Lord of the Rings is in The Two Towers when the Orakai are taking Merry and Pippin to Isengard. Like Harry Potter, I wanted to know absolutely everything about them. And this led to me discovering more franchises. Things like Star Wars, James Bond, Indiana Jones, Batman. I watched them all repeatedly and became enthralled by cinema. And here's a picture of my tentative DVD and Blu-ray collection from 2014. Look how small it is. The next step in my journey came watching a YouTube video of a guy unbox the Wizards collection from Harry Potter. It kind of changed my life. And you wonder, how was an unboxing video changing your life? Well, the guy who was doing the unboxing video... He's a Welsh film buff named Luke Ryan, otherwise known as Razor Wire Reviews. Honestly, he feels like an old friend to me at this point. I've been watching him for probably the bones of about 10 years. And I think I've only talked to him on like a handful of occasions. But what he had was he had videos talking about movies that I would never go out of my way to watch. I didn't even really know they existed. Silent movies, foreign movies, movies like Seven Samurai or Sunrise, A Song of Two Humans. These are movies that I didn't even know existed. I thought cinema was just what you saw when you go to the cinema, is all the blockbusters. There's a world out there way beyond that, and he was the guy who helped me get beyond that point. I owe quite a lot to Luke, I think, because without him, I don't know if I have the same knowledge or enthusiasm for film that I have today. And then I started making inroads in trying to make this a career instead of being a policeman or a teacher. I wanted to make media, make movies. So I got a university degree. Another two people I owe a lot to is Tom and Chris from James Bond Radio. It was probably the first podcast I ever properly started to listen to. The two guys from James Bond Radio, otherwise known as JBR, reviewed all the Bond stuff. And it's because of that I'm the big Bond fan I am now. But it also opened me up to the community aspect of film. Now nearly a decade after it's finished, because of those two, I've met so many great people. I've gone on a trip to Vienna, getting to see locations from the movie. This is the only real instance in my life where... Because of my love for movies, I've met people from all over the world and got to talk about the stuff we love. And that brings me to today. The pandemic seemed like the perfect opportunity to watch and expand my film knowledge, but it actually kind of did the opposite. I became a lot lazier. I tended to watch a lot of live sport because everything was happening in the world. You were glued to your phone. I couldn't get off Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. 
and mainly YouTube. I spend so much time watching YouTube videos and not watching movies. I began to question whether movies were for me anymore. And then recently I picked up a knee injury in work, which has had me out for nearly two months. And in that time, I made my first video where I ranked all the Bond movies. After making that video, I think I found the motivation I need to start A, a YouTube channel, and B, to learn and discover more about film. The point of this channel is to stop the rot and get me to stop making excuses for not watching new movies. I want to learn more about cinema. I want to expand my horizons. I want to get back to that point in my life when I was watching Luke's videos and I was excited to watch all these amazing films that over the past few years I've just had no ambition or energy to go watch. So I have a few tentative ideas for the channel. One thing I want to do is keep up the Bond related content. I know a lot of people subscribed and watched the video of the ranking of the Bond movies to see more Bond content. So the plan is to review every Bond movie, go back, rewatch them and give you a better understanding why I love the movies and maybe give you some more insight to the movies that you yourself might not have known. And on top of the Bond reviews, I also want to go on what I'm calling the Moving Pictures, a cinematic odyssey, where I go through the history of film and go out of my way to watch some of the most influential, greatest movies of all time and have a much better understanding of why do I love movies, how are movies made, and what makes them great. So that's kind of tentatively going to be my plan moving on. I don't know how frequently I'll upload, but I want to put a lot of effort into this. I want to put a lot of time, research, and try make them essentially kind of like documentaries, really give them the time of day and flex my creative juices, which I haven't done since I left college, to be honest with you. I hope you join me in this cinematic odyssey, whether it be me watching the Bond movies again or me diving deeper into the world of cinema and yeah I think it'll be really fun um it's really liberating seeing comments on my videos it's it's helping me helping motivate me to do more so yeah we'll see how it goes um do the usual like comment subscribe I want to hear back from you what you think and let's go on a journey together I'll see you in the next one